In this video on C-Sharp Basics, I'm just going to hop right into Visual Studio and do a demonstration of adding projects and references. So up to this point, we've been putting every single item that we've been working on inside of this basic.course project. But above the project, we also have something called a solution. The reason for this organization is that sometimes you need to compartmentalize different tasks that are necessary in order for a solution to be complete. So let's take, for example, all of these items that we have inside of our generics folder here. We have a bunch of very common interfaces that we might want to reuse in other applications. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is up here in our solution, I'm going to right click and select add new project. So this project is going to be specifically for a storage area of where I want to hold these interfaces. And a good project item that you can select to just simply store classes into is a class library. So that's what we're going to select here. Now I'm going to go ahead and name this class library common. And I'm going to go ahead and click OK. Now by default, our project adds a class here called class one in our common project. I don't need this. I'm going to go ahead and delete this out of here. Now I'm going to go back into my basic course and I'm going to go to the generics folder here and I'm just going to go ahead and copy each one of these interfaces. So control C and then I'm going to go back into my common project and I'm going to right click and then I'm going to click on paste. Now I do need to go through each one of these and rename the namespace because this is not right. And we're just going to change the namespace to common. So let's go ahead and go through each one of these interfaces here. And we're going to just change the namespace on each one of these. And I can easily do that just by highlighting this. I'm going to hit control H and we're just going to replace any instance of basic course.generics to common. And I need to make sure that this says all open documents so that it only hits the documents that I've double clicked on. And let's go ahead and replace all, replaced all seven occurrences. And that's a quick way to just change my namespace. Okay, so now that I've got my interfaces all here inside of my common class library, I need to go into my basic.course project and somehow link the common class library into this basic.course so that the basic course knows about this library that exists over here. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to references. And if I right click on references, I can select add reference. So now from here, I can actually include a bunch of different items from the .NET framework. And you can see targeting .NET framework 4.5.2. So these are the assemblies that are built right into the .NET framework. And some of them are not even included in your project. We can see that all of these items that are not checked are not a part of the project that we've created. And we could do the same thing here in extensions. It's also extensions that are part of the .NET framework. However, over here, if I select projects, we can look inside of our solution and we can see the common class library. And if I select this and click OK, now we've added a reference here inside of our basic.course project to the common class library. Now I'm going to go ahead and create a new folder and I'm just going to call this new projects and, or well, no, we'll call this adding projects and references. Okay. Now in here, I'm going to go ahead and add a new class. Now remember, this is part of the basic.course project. So I'm going to call this my class just because I like that name. But the my class is not going to be able to see what's inside of the common class library until we put in a using statement. So we'll do using common. And now we have the full unfettered access to the I value increase. So we can see that we have access to the interface that exists now inside of the common class library. So this is how you can separate out different parts of your project. So perhaps you have one developer that's working on the user interface and they have their own project here that is strictly the WPF or the Windows Forms project. 
then you may be working on the common classes to develop some more common classes that are going to be shared across either the user interface or the business logic or perhaps the data access layer. Then there's the actual business intelligence that might be used, which would be in its own project. However you and your fellow workers decide to organize your solutions and your projects is really up to you, but you should know at least how to separate these out and then add a reference from within each one of these projects.